All right, well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video. And in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about the new uh, 15K and, believe it or not, 20K power jack inverters. Before I get into that, of course, as always, GenetrySolar.com, where you'll find power jack inverters as well as spare parts, replacement parts for your power jack inverters. If you need to get a hold of me, you can on that website, or you can get a hold of me, 833-GENETRY, toll free. You can text me there as well do keep in mind i do have business hours monday through friday nine to five and i'm off holidays as well so this morning i received a message and i'm not really sure when these units actually started going up but uh, i did receive a message this morning about the new 15 and 20 thousand watt power jack inverters now i knew for a while that a true 15 thousand watt inverter was coming I saw the data on it, saw some pictures of it, saw it in action, and uh, so I've been aware of the 15K. The 20K, however, kind of caught me by surprise. I did not know that PowerJack was planning on launching a 20,000 watt inverter. Now, before you laugh or dismiss this uh, <laughs> as being kind of true PowerJack, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go over some things. I have done a little bit of research. Um, Chinese New Year is here, so most, if not all, of China is shut down right now. I have voiced my concerns to uh, PowerJack, so we'll see if they heed my advice or listen to my suggestions before these are actually shipping. Now, it looks like to me they're not shipping till mid-February, maybe late February. Not exactly sure, uh, but... Let's go over some things. So details as far as, uh, let's start with the 15 kilowatt unit. I did know about this unit. I have for a while. However, I didn't know about the design. I've seen some pictures of it, but uh, as far as the design goes, the better pictures are up on eBay. You can find this if you search for it on eBay. I don't have any links. And I'm not going to be able to get pictures up right now. So from the looks of it, uh, a lot of the gain is in the transformer. The transformer is just massive. It weighs almost 100 pounds. It's just huge. I mean, you think an AS9 transformer is big. This one is just colossal. It's huge. And that is the result of me testing for about six to eight months the main boards and actually figuring out their limitations and sending that data to PowerJack. The whole reason, the main reason that main boards were struggling was because of charging. The overloading of a main board really was not common. In fact, it was very rare to overload a main board to the point where you actually blew the FETs. Because the transformer itself has always been the bottleneck. So the main boards have been super strong. I demonstrated on video, I picked one, and demonstrated that a 1500 watt main board can actually do nearly 4000 watts. More like about three to 3500 continuous, but does have its ability to approach 4000 watts before the FETs decide to give up. So with that main board being as tiny as it is and as small as it is, and you've got a 15,000 watt main board, that is about three times the size and has the potential for about four times the FETs, you're looking at a much more capable main board. We're talking 20, maybe 30,000 watts. Okay, I'm just throwing a number out there, but if you move in a linear direction, um, then that's about what it should you know, actually put out. Of course, conditions are not always ideal. Your results may vary always but not very very much in that respect so the main boards have never been the weak point and the charging has really been the, the thing that has been uh, catastrophic to the to the MOSFETs so PowerJack uh, knowing that their transformers were the actual weak point they decided to to actually manufacture a transformer themselves that is, uh, I mean, it's a totally different beast. It's massive. It's huge. It looks like it's almost about a foot in diameter. It's just huge. It could be even larger than that. Just this massive transformer, this big chunk of copper 
an iron that's right there in the inverter. So they did do a good thing by doing that. They have two main boards in the new ones. These main boards, as far as I understand, are double fat main boards. So you're getting more fets in the new ones than you would in the old ones. And they're 220 amp fets, as far as I understand, if they use the fets that they used in their test machines. 220 amp fets. Now, of course, as I said before, results may vary. It depends on heat dissipation, how well they perform under stress, things like that. So you're not going to get 220 out of each one of those fets, guaranteed, but they have the potential for 220. So this leads us to a few of my concerns. First of all, Will it do 15K? Yes, it will. It'll do 15K continuous. From the data that I have received from PowerJag, from all the testing they've done, it will do 15K. So if you're looking for a true 15K inverter, then yes, it'll do 15K. Uh, with some caveats. The cooling on these new 15K inverters is what I would consider to be the weak point now. And a good plug, if you are interested in purchasing high-speed fan kits, even for those inverters, you would obviously benefit greatly. From what I can tell, PowerJack does not have lid fans. So there's no transformer fan directly above the transformer to be able to pull that heat out of the transformer. And the fans that I can see are blowing across the main boards, and that air is heading into the transformer. So you've got the heat from the main boards which is then blown across the transformer to cool it. I don't think the design is very good, to be honest. I'm hoping that PowerJack will listen and will at least install some slots for some lid fans. Because you've got all that heat that's going to be building up, especially if you're really cranking on this inverter. you got a lot of heat that's going to be building up inside. And... As I said before, the main boards really have never been the weak point. It's always been the transformer. So if you cannot cool down that transformer, it doesn't matter at all if the inverter can do 15,000 watts continuous. And these were lab tests, of course. Get, get this inverter into one of your rooms, and you've got it hooked up, and it's exposed to different you know, temperatures and humidity levels and things like that. Your vault results are going to vary. And a controlled test, it'll do 15,000 watts, but... In your situation, will it do 15K? I don't know. I don't have one of these to be able to actually prove or disprove where it will actually handle, you know, as far as wattage. I was hoping to get some of these before they were on sale. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any, or at least not yet. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be receiving any or not. You'll also notice that they're in stainless steel uh, cases. Now... The main reason that they did this was because of weight limitations. That transformer represents almost 100 pounds shipping. And then you've got all the other guts in there, which gets damn close to 150 pounds. UPS has a door-to-door -door limit of 150 pounds ground. They'll freight things, obviously, if you have over 150 pounds. But PowerJack is trying to stay under that 150 in order to do that, they used a stainless steel case, which is thinner, lighter. It looks great, but you have a 100-pound transformer that's going to be moving around in there. And I'm really deeply concerned about a potential issue in shipping. Also, lifting these things, if you can imagine... If you look at the pictures, the transformer is actually more shifted to the right of the inverter versus dead center. So there's a huge weight offset there. And so you go to lift up this big inverter, all the weight is on this side. And you go to lift it up, you know, there's a possibility for a bend to happen in the middle, a strong possibility. You know, I haven't actually gotten one of these in my hand, so I don't know. But it is a concern. Shipping damage is probably going to be more likely with these. I don't know. I don't know what their answer is to that. I don't know if they're going to pack it better. I don't know if they're going to add braces. I don't know. I, at this point, 
I'm not really sure. So that is, those are the details I'll find out later, hopefully. Um, now, PowerJack is pushing these things, and they are going to be their flagship inverters. They don't have Wi-Fi boards in them, not yet. Eventually, I think they will. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things where if you choose to buy now, there's nothing wrong with the purchase. Um, I'm not going to tell you not to buy something, but I haven't had a chance to actually dive deep and actually see. I was going to send Sean Buckner from Make Sky Blue one of these because he's got just this absolutely gigantic battery bank. And he could actually crank 15,000 watts on these continuous probably for hours and hours and still be okay. And so I wanted to send him one. And now that I find out about a 20,000 watt unit, I'm a little bit unsure and a little bit confused as far as what's going on. I don't know if this 20,000 watt unit is is typical PowerJack marketing or if it really is 20,000 watts. It's a lot of current. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, of course there's case scenarios where people have machine shops and things like that. But as far as a standard home... I don't know of anybody who's really going to need 20 kilowatts. If you Like I said, if it's a business, if it's a machine shop, if something like that, but if it's just your regular house, I don't know of anyone who cranks out of the grid 20,000 watts. That's a lot of power, even 15 kilowatts. 15 kilowatts for me would be like running my air conditioner, an electric stove, uh, all my window air conditioners, my dryer, all at the same time. I mean, literally all at the same time. I mean, those, that's a... A case scenario where yes it's possible to hit that but most people who are off the grid don't go extravagant on their uses some of us who've got the money to be able to buy the larger battery banks will obviously have more wiggle room there where they don't have to worry as much but most of us we really watch our usage we really you know clamp down on any excess to make sure that we can get the most bang out of our batteries as possible so 15,000 and 20,000 watts is kind of extreme. I'm not saying that it's not necessary or never going to be needed. I'm just saying that, especially the 20,000 watts, those are those are some rare situations. And those are going to be marketed. They're going to have to be marketed more for businesses. And then all oh, some of you out there, one or two of you are going to say, oh, but I use 20,000 watts at home in my cabin or whatever. There's always somebody who's is, is going to say, but they're not going to buy it. I mean, who's? No. That's a lot of money. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on exactly. I'm trying to gather information from PowerJack to see what's going on. But I was actually a little bit surprised when I saw that they were already available on eBay. And it was my understanding that PowerJack was going to send me a bunch of these so that I could at least get testing on them and so on. But I'm not... It doesn't seem to be happening. I'm sure that I'm going to get a return unit because of shipping damage. So, this leads me to whatever questions you might have. Um, I was really hoping that PowerJack would send me a bunch, and I thought that they were going to. If they still are, again, i got to get a hold of PowerJack. If they still are, and you want to buy one from PowerJack themselves, you'll obviously get their warranty. But you could also arrange to have my Wi-Fi board installed, as well as the high-speed fans. You'd have to pay me directly for that, and then you would get the warranty on that, but not the inverter itself. Or you could choose to wait, pay a little bit more money, and actually buy one of these units from me. I would like to get one in the house and actually start running it, seeing how good the sine wave looks, seeing what kind of uh, standby losses you've got, efficiencies, things like that. I can't do a true 15,000 watt load test because my battery bank would literally burn up. But I can ship these units to uh, certain people who do have the capabilities of running that kind of current. So, well, okay. So anyway, if some of you are going to ask, well, then that means that the current generation, the version 8, 9, version 7 even, are completely obsolete. That if you, you know, want a 15,000 watt inverter that's, you know, the, considered to be the, the standard inverter, then it's worthless. It's not the case at all. Um, it just kind of depends on your particular needs. There's nothing wrong with a big 15,000 watt inverter from PowerJack that's not considered to be a full-time inverter. And, um, you know, it just, um, 
obviously in my case I'm gonna have to lower my prices which is gonna really slash my margins unfortunately but I can't compete with power jack with all the stuff that I have here if I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with power jack I would lose every time just because they can sell things at tax breaks and losses with the Chinese government and I can't I, I just can't there's no way I, I can't get subsidies I can't get you know credits I can't get any of that stuff they can sell things at losses to the United States and it's all about the grand economic you know thing that's going on so there's no way that I'm gonna be able to sell for as cheap as they're asking uh, right now on eBay I think the rumor had it was that uh, PowerJack was going to sell these at less than $1,000. If that's the case, there's no way that I can ever compete. But you're going to get their service, and you're going to get um, you know, their, uh, you know, their guarantees, I guess. Whereas if you bought it from me, yes, you're going to pay more. But you know, I'm that type of person where if I can take care of you in any way, if something goes wrong, I will. Even if it's past your warranty. I mean... I have dealt with things that, um, you know, it's out of warranty. I'm not saying this is a guarantee, but, you know, there's been some people that I have met over the last couple of years who have some really serious critical applications. And when they have a problem, I make sure to try to take care of them as soon as possible, even if it's out of warranty, things like that. I'm not going to throw away money, but if I have the opportunity or, uh, you know, the chance to basically take care of them without it being detrimental to me then I do that so you gotta kinda of balance that um, to decide what's more important is it gonna be ultimately just the price is all you care about or is it gonna be the quality of the service beyond the purchase and possibilities for enhancing your product like adding Wi-Fi boards high-speed fans etc etc so it's something that you guys would obviously need to consider it's your money so we'll see what happens right now I haven't had any of my questions answered by PowerJack so I'm going to see what's going on I'm gonna hope that they will uh, listen to some of my suggestions and that when you guys order a product from them you'll be able to get it in one piece and it'll be able to perform continuously and you'll get a good uh, good product out of the deal so uh, yeah kind of uncertain right now um, I'm a little bit frustrated I guess that I didn't get a chance to actually get any of these beforehand because I've been really talking these up for a while and I haven't even had a chance to get one um, so who knows maybe you can uh, maybe one of you out there can email PowerJack or if you've dealt with them on eBay, send them a message and ask them to send me one of the big ones so that I can actually test it and show you guys on camera how it works. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions, obviously let me know. Um I appreciate all your feedback. I appreciate the donations that I've received. I appreciate that you're doing business with me. Um, it goes a long way. It really supports me in this channel, and I appreciate everything. Uh, today is Martin Luther King Day. Um, I'm not obviously the there's no there's no mail. UPS does deliver, but uh, there's no mail right now, so um, won't be able to ship any parts out that you uh, had ordered until tomorrow. So thanks again for all your support, and as always, take care. <laughs>